So in our last video tutorial, we discussed irreducible factor form of an algebraic expression. Now, let's take this discussion forward and let's discuss now the factorization by the method of common factors. By the way, if you haven't watched this tutorial on uh, irreducible factor form of an algebraic expression, then I highly recommend you please watch that first. Uh, the video link of the tutorial is given in the description box below. Please watch it so that you can understand this one properly. Now this is factorization by the method of common factors. Okay, this is the first algebraic expression that is 2x plus 4. Okay, now this algebraic expression has two terms, 2x and 4. Let's break it down in its irreducible factor form, each term. So this is 2x, it means that it is 2 multiplied by x. Can you break it down further? No. 2 is a prime number, you cannot break it down. x is a uh, variable, you cannot break it down. What about this 4? Now this 4 is actually 2 multiplied by 2. Can you break it down further? No. Okay. So it means each term has been written in its irreducible factor form. Done. Now this first term has 2 and the second term has 2. Now if you notice, in this case you have two 2's, but since this has only one 2, therefore you will say that these two terms have one 2 common. This has one 2 and this has one 2. Therefore, we'll use the method of common factors. 2 is one of the factors of 2x and in this case also 2 is one of the factors of 4, that is the two factors are 2 and 2 in this case. Take 2 common method of common factors and this will be x plus 2. This is distributive property of multiplication over addition because what is this? This is 2x and then plus 2 times 2 that is 4. So now you will say that this is the required factorization of this algebraic expression and its two factors are 2 and x plus 2. These are the two factors of this algebraic expression and this 2 multiplied by x plus 2 is the required factorization and these this is an irreducible factor form because this cannot be further reduced required factorization. Let's talk about this one. So this algebraic expression has two terms, 5xy and 10x. This first term, let's break it down in its irreducible factor form. So 5 multiplied by x multiplied by y. Can you further break down 5? No, because it's a prime number. What about x? No. What about y? You cannot break it down further than this plus sign. Let's use this color. And then you have this 10x. So this 10x is basically 2 multiplied by 5 because when a number is broken down then we break it down in its prime form that's prime factor form 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by x can you break it down further no so this is the irreducible factor form of this term now here you have x and here you have x here you have 5 and here you have 5 so 5 multiplied by x these two first of all this term has three factors 5x and y this term has also three factors 2 and 5 2 5 and x of these three terms 5x in this term and 5x in this term are common in both these two terms so take 5 x outside and it is now y plus 2 now if someone asks you that what are the three factors of this algebraic expression? You will say that it's 5, then it's x, and then it's y plus 2. These are the three factors of this algebraic expression and this 5 multiplied by x multiplied by y plus 2 is the required factorization of this algebraic expression. Let's solve some problems. So this is 12a squared b plus 15ab squared. Again, it has two terms, one term and two term. Break this, break down this term into its 
uh, irreducible factor form. So this is 12. This can be written as 2 times 2, 4. Okay. So 2 times 2 times 3. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12 multiplied by a multiplied by a. Right? a multiplied by a is a squared multiplied by b. Now can you break it down further? No. 2, 2, 3 are these are the prime numbers. Then you have a, it's a variable, you cannot break it down further. This is a raised to the power of 1, you cannot break it down further and same thing with b. Right? So this uh, term of this algebraic expression has been written down in its irreducible factor form that is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by a multiplied by a multiplied by b. Name all the factors 2, 2, 3, a, a, b. So these are the factors 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 factors of this term. So then this plus sign and then this uh, 15ab squared. Now this is 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by a multiplied by b multiplied by b. Can you break it down further? No, you cannot break it down further because 3 and 5 are the prime factors, uh, prime numbers. A is a variable that is a raised to the power of 1. You cannot break it down further. Same thing with, with b and b. So what are all the all factors of this term? 3, 5, a, b, b. Right. Now, you have 3 here, you have 3 here, you have a here, you have a here, and you have b here, you have b here. Right. So if you take out 3 multiplied by a multiplied by b, then inside you are left with 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by a, then this plus sign, and then 5 multiplied by b. Right. So this is 3ab multiplied by 4a plus 5b. Right. Now, someone asks you that what are the factors of this algebraic expression? You will say 3, a, b, and 4a plus 5b. These are the four factors of this algebraic expression because it is basically what 3 multiplied by a multiplied by b multiplied by 4a plus 5b. Right? Now, this is the required factorization of this algebraic expression because it, it is in its irreducible factor form now. You cannot further reduce it. Okay. 10x squared minus 18x cubed plus 14x raised to the power of 4. You have to factorize this algebraic expression. It has three terms, 10x squared, then you have minus 18x cubed, and then you have plus 14x raised to the power of 4. Okay. So here, this is 10x squared. Let's break it down. So this is 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by x multiplied by x. Then this minus sign here. This is uh, 2, 3, 6, 3. Okay. So 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. 2 times 3 is 6 times 3 is 18. Then multiplied by x multiplied by x multiplied by x. Then this plus sign here. Then you have 2 multiplied by 7, that is 14, multiplied by x, multiplied by x, multiplied by x, multiplied by x. Okay, so this term has been written in its irreducible factor form. This term has been written in its irreducible factor form. And this term has been written in its irreducible factor form. You have 2 here, you have 2 here, you have x here, you have x here. In the same way, 2, 2. 2, then you have x, x, and x, then again you have x, x, and this x, right? So take out 2 multiplied by x multiplied by x outside. So this is 2 multiplied by x multiplied by x, and then you have 5 minus 3 multiplied, let's use a square bracket. This is 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by x. And then you have plus, you have 7 multiplied by x multiplied by x. 
right? So this is now, if someone asks you that what are the four factors of this algebraic expression, you will say two, x, x, and five minus, now this is nine x plus seven x squared. So these are the four factors of this algebraic expression. Now this, if you take a look at this one, then this can be written as two x squared and then 5 minus 9x plus 7x squared. So this is the required factorization of this algebraic expression. Now if you notice whether this example a problem or this problem or the two problems we have discussed here. Let's start with these two. In this problem, you have two terms. And in this problem, again, we have two terms. But if you notice, the final result, that is a factorization, it has only one term, right? That is two multiplied by x plus two. Because here it is two x plus four, therefore it has two terms. But here it is two multiplied by x plus two. It means that it has only one term, that is two multiplied by x plus two. Same, like if someone say that if 5xy is an algebraic expression, it's a one term. If someone says 5xy plus 2x, now it has two terms because you have plus sign here. If it is 5xy minus 3x, again, it's two terms because you have minus sign here. In the same way here, you have again one term. That is 5xy plus 2. What about in this case? In this case, again, 3ab. 3ab multiplied by 4a plus 5b, we have only one term. What about this case? Again, 2x squared multiplied by 5 minus 9x plus 7x squared has only one term, right? Why? Because you have factorized it. When you factorize a, an algebraic expression, you write uh, that algebraic expression in the form of the product of its factors.